bombing of the mosque in Bloomington will head to prison for 53 years. Michael Hari came out as transgender after this bombing and is now known as Emily Hari. A judge said Hari's intent was to terrorize people of the Muslim faith. That is our top story tonight at 6. I'm Kelsey Carlson. And I'm Randy Meyer. Impact statements have been heard throughout the day, and our Paul Bloom was there during all of it. He's live now from the federal courthouse in St. Paul with the very latest for us tonight, Paul. Randy and Kelsey, really an interesting day here at the federal courthouse in downtown St. Paul. Uh, basically, what happened, as you mentioned, nearly two dozen victim impact statements today, those connected to this case. Uh, they had asked this judge to send Emily Hari away to life in a prison. The fence, though, countering that no one was hurt, no one was injured. They had argued uh, before this judge asking for something in the neighborhood of 30 years, basically the mandatory minimum. In the end, uh, U.S. Uh, District Court Judge Donovan Frank sending Hari away to 53 years behind bars. As a community member, as a member, I was there at that night, at that moment that when the attacker was attacking, I was the next room and this was, this could be me that today wouldn't be here because of that attack. So I got a second chance to stand up for justice and to make sure that our community, my community and community of faith lives in this country with uh, honor and dignified and not being terrorized. And as I mentioned, nearly two dozen victims speaking out in court today, including Dar al Farouk's imam there, opening up about the terror, the fear, the anger, the disgust of that August 2017 bombing. It was described over and over in that courtroom as a domestic terror attack on a place of worship, a cultural and religious center for a Muslim community that often feels targeted and singled out. Hari, again, now known as Emily Hari, had previously informed the court of her transgender identity. She now identifies as a woman. Her lawyer arguing that gender confusion, in addition to online right-wing misinformation, led Hari to forming a militia and masterminding this pipe bomb attack on Dalar Fulurouk. An otherwise quiet morning prayer was shattered by an explosion from Hari's bomb, ripping through the imam's office at the mosque. Today, however, we move forward as we witness the justice system at work. Defendant Hari has been held accountable for a variety of crimes committed. He has been sentenced in open court to 53 years in prison. 53 years, one of the longest sentences we have ever seen for crimes of this nature in the United States. And that is the acting U.S. Attorney for the District of Minnesota. Important to note here, Emily Hari did speak briefly in court today, wishing, quote, God's richest blessings upon the victims of this bombing. Important to note, Hari now 50 years old, meaning this 53-year prison sentence in the federal prison system is, in essence, a life sentence. We're live in downtown St. Paul tonight. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.